Dr. Wan Zhao, a technical advisor to AHAIC Commission, shared with us the challenges faced across sectors of health and solutions to remedy the problems. I think one would be verticalization of healthcare just because of the nature of the development of healthcare, such as, you know, the MDGs. There's been a verticalization of healthcare in the region of trying to approach it on a disease by disease basis. And that has really not worked towards UHC, which requires a more system-based care. So that would be one of the challenges that, that certainly exists in, for UHC in health in Africa. I think also a health workforce. So one is not having a health workforce, which a lot of people talk about and the statistics are, are not great. And when you talk about health workforce, I think it's across the health workforce, not only physicians and nurses, but also community health workers, social workers, um, people, lab technologists across the whole myriad of, of health workers, just not having health workers, but also not matching um, the health workers in the region to what is required for the region. A good example is the lab technologists. If there are not enough lab technologists, um, then the doctors and the nurses, ETC, can't run those investigations. Another one is just um, having health systems that are legacy systems and not reinventing systems to match our needs. So a lot of the health systems we, need, we have historically in the region were based on the legacy systems that were carried on when countries gained independence. Um, and there hasn't been a reinventing, so to speak, of those systems, really bottom up um, and putting them like completely as new systems, just to ensure that they're reaching the, the needs of, of the people. Apart from what you just mentioned, which I suppose are going to be part of the report that you're going to launch at the conference, what else does the report say about universal health care? We talk about challenges because I think it's important to recognize those challenges, but then we then look forward and look more positively at opportunities. So what is it that exists in the region that is an opportunity to enable universal health coverage? And some of those opportunities include issues like having a young population. It's an opportunity because there's, an op there's a way that healthcare can be crafted for, for that that for that demographic that is still yet healthy. We also talk about the opportunity of regional collaboration. There's an opportunity to manufacture some of the things required for, for to provide healthcare. Um, and so some of those opportunities are, some of that opportunity can be used actually to diversify the economy and to have manufacturing of our own health goods in the region. Look at both the challenges and the opportunities and we make um, some recommendations. Specifically about our recommendations overall is they really aim to be Africa specific. So you know, there can be recommendations for universal health coverage for all parts of, of the globe and all parts of different regions of the world. But the, the commission really aims to have uh, tailor-made recommendations that are Africa-specific and that speak to different audiences, all the way from policymakers to other decision makers and also citizens, because they are a good, good and important agency in, in achieving universal health coverage in Africa.